Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing well. So for those of y'all who are new to my channel, I'm a registered dietitian and today I thought I'd share with you my yogurt recipe. And so back in December for Christmas, my parents got me a yogurt maker and ever since then I've been making my own yogurt for a multitude of reasons. One being cost. It can be quite expensive depending on which type of yogurt you get to purchase yogurt, especially if you eat it on a daily basis. The second reason was environmental reasons because I was going through so much. I was buying the individually packed ones and I was going through so much plastic every week and I didn't like that. And so that's that was my second reason. And the third one is I am quite a skeptic when it comes to our food, especially food that's processed and how it's processed. And because I don't think that companies are forthcoming. <laughs> and so part of it is this trust issue with manufacturers. And so I wanted to know how my yogurt was made, where it was coming from, and making sure that I knew that it was healthy. And so I started making my own yogurt. And ever since then, I don't make it every week. It is something I only have to make it every two weeks because I don't go through a huge amount, um, but I do like to put in my smoothies every morning. Um, so I thought I would share with you all my recipe. I actually posted a picture on my Instagram of the yogurt that I've been making and the company of the yogurt maker that I use reached out to me and they are actually offering for one of y'all to win one. And so if you're interested in winning a yogurt maker, then stay tuned till the end. So this is the yogurt maker that was on my Christmas list. <laughs> and the reason that I liked this one, there was several reasons. So the first reason was this is glass. So this is where the yogurt gets made. And I like that um, it's one big glass because there are some that come with several little glasses but I make the same yogurt every time I make it. And so I like that this can also be used as storage. The other thing I liked was that it's digital. And so you can change the temperature. They have four temperature settings and you can also change the timing. And so the timer is digital on here. So you know if you have four more hours to go, eight more hours to go, it tells you which I really like. And so for this recipe, you will obviously need the yogurt maker. The other thing you will need is some type of base. So I like the coconut milk. And to me, I don't avoid fat. I eat a lot of fat. Um, I eat a lot of nuts and seeds. I eat a lot of different oils. And so I just get the full fat coconut oil and I like the way that coconut tastes in my smoothies. And then as my thickening agent, I use agar agar. So I just got this off Amazon and I think it cost me like six bucks or something. I tried looking for it in my local grocers. I tried not to purchase everything from Amazon. I tried to buy locally, but I just couldn't find this anywhere. And so I did buy it online. The next thing you'll need is a probiotic. And I will link this one below. This can be found basically everywhere. And then some type of sugar for the probiotics to feed on because coconut milk doesn't have any sugar. This one has three grams, so it doesn't have a lot. And so I do add some sweetener so that the probiotics have food and can grow and multiply. And then the other things you will need are a food thermometer and this literally is essential I tried doing this without a food thermometer and you just can't you need to go to your store and get a food thermometer if you don't have one and then a whisk and then some type of medium-sized pot so to start I'm just turning the burner on high and then I'm going to add all of the coconut milk So I am super clumsy in the kitchen. Whenever I get done cooking, there's always a huge mess to clean up, which I'm fine with. Um, but just a side note about myself. So what you're gonna do is heat the coconut milk until about 104 degrees. And the temperature is extremely important because you don't want it to get too high or too low. 
um, in order for the probiotics to flourish. So you don't want to kill it, kill them off, you know. And so, like I said, it's super important that you get the temperature right on this before you add the probiotics. Once you get the temperature right, this is a super, super easy process. Okay, so now we're where we should be. I was probably on the stove for like 30 seconds, and it's probably been sitting out for maybe like five minutes, but we're good to go. And so the next step is the probiotics. If you look at the recipes online, there's a million different ways to do this. But I've learned with these specific probiotics, I do six capsules. And all I do is I open them up and just pour them in. And I like my yogurt super, super thick. And so the six capsules I found is what works for my taste preference. So next, add a tablespoon of agar agar. And then I add a tablespoon of maple syrup. And then I just stir it in. So next you simply just plug it in and it automatically turns on. And then you put the yogurt inside. You put water in the base and you fill it up to the line. It gives you a line to fill it up to. Different people have different beliefs on the temperatures and all that. Um, but the temperature, I do 104 because I found it keeps it the thickest. I let mine heat up for 24 hours. Again, that's because it makes it the thickest and that's just totally my preference. I have only done like 12, 16 hours and it works as well, but I, I like to do the full 24. And then you just let it sit. And so I'll come back tomorrow so it's the next day and it's been 24 hours. So the machine automatically cuts off and then reads off. So it's natural for the yogurt to have dispersed. And so what I do is I just give it a stir and then I put it in the refrigerator for like six hours or so. And then after the six hours, it's thickened. So in the fridge is now it's a little bit more um, liquidy, but once it gets cold, it becomes a lot um, firmer. So it's actually the next day. You don't have to leave the yogurt in the fridge that long. I think they recommend like six to eight hours, but it is the next day. And like I said, I like my yogurt rather thick. And so this is actually really perfect. Um, and like I said before, what I like to do is put the yogurt in my smoothie for the probiotics. But then I'll also eat it as a snack. At this point, you can also add more sweetener if you would like. You could add some vanilla extract. But I'll, it kind of looks like whipped cream, doesn't it? But I actually want to eat some as a snack right now. And so I'll just put some in a bowl. And then I love berries. So I'll just add some berries. I'm gonna add some granola. Yum. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll leave the recipe below. Also, for your chance to win a free yogurt maker, all you have to do is like this video, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below which type of base you would use to make your yogurt. It's as easy as that. I will choose a winner in two weeks, and I will comment down below the winner, and I'll reach out to you, and we will get that yogurt maker sent your way. So I hope y'all are doing well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!